Hi, it's Jason in Jason's Jungle. Uh, right now, I'm going to try and revitalise and improve the bed that I'm going to be putting my garlic in. Um, it's in the new territories, and the soil here has not been that good. It's been very heavy clay. Um, so, I'm just going to go over and show you what I'm going to be doing with it. This is the bed. Now, if you just scratch the surface, you've got what looks like to be really nice, rich, dark soil. Now, this has been built up over the last year from using a lot of mulch. Because uh, last year, when I done my potatoes in July, as I said before, I really needed to use a uh, crowbar to get into to make plant holes. So this is fine, but it only goes down a few inches. So I'm going to be looking to improve this so that when I plant my garlic, it's got a nice soil to plant into. So what I'm going to start off with is I'm going to start off with a layer of grass then I'll add manure and then I'll add the uh, shop board compost and then I'll sow some buckwheat as a green manure which will be cut down at the end of September and use as a mulch and then later on I'll plant my garlics so hopefully that's going to improve the soil and I'll also later on be doing uh, side dressings of uh, blood fish and bone as well. So I'll get on with adding the, uh, the grass clippings. Here we've got quite a few bags of grass. There's a guy who does the, uh, the gardens on main and he always has loads of go garden clippings to get rid of so rather than him pay to get, get rid of them at the tip I take them off his hands for note. Rich in nitrogen breaks down quite quickly so even though this is going to be in the soil underneath the manure and the compost it should break down reasonably quickly it's not going to be too thick That's that done. All that's left to do is give it a good watering and sit back and wait. In a week they should be up and then four weeks after that they'll be ready to uh, harvest. 